All right, welcome back guys. <laughs> I am fresh off of work, like literally walked through the door, hopped in the shower and sat down. <laughs> so I am a little exhausted. Sorry if I look low energy, it's just that it's been a long day. But um, the show must go on. And so I do apologize for this going up late. I know it's not the time that I usually upload these, but I had to go to work, you know, gotta have money to take care of my channel and keep food in my belly. So today we are talking about the Avocado Moisture Max Mask from She Sent It with avocado oil and avocado butter. And this is for very dry hair. So I got caught in the rain yesterday and kind of dried my hair out. So I figured I'd bust this guy out. I've been wanting to get my hands on this for a minute, but I kept missing it with the sales and stuff. Um, it says this is a weekly deep conditioning treatment, intensively moisturizes hair. It completely restores hydration to very, to very dry hair, penetrating the hair shaft to rehydrate and rejuvenate. The result is long lasting moisture, hydration, and elasticity. And this is for kinky, curly, coily hair. And the first five ingredients are water, avocado oil, aloe vera leaf extract, BTMS, and cetyl alcohol. Um, there is vegetable glycerin right in the middle, and then that glycerin is followed by avocado butter. And there's some castor seed oil in here too, so. A good mix of humectants and emollients is what I like to see, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> so this smells like the... Um, the hair cream that I reviewed, the avocado moisturizing hair cream, and it also smells like the regular rinse out conditioner. It has like a candy like scent. It's very light though, so if sweet scents kind of make you feel like sickly and stuff, this shouldn't do that to you. So how are you guys doing? I am exhausted and I'm going to be exhausted. Um, Y'all have heard the whole spiel about my job a million and one times, but it's like I either have way too much time on my hands, which honestly for me is never too much time on my hands because it just allows me to like get more done for the channel and for my other platforms, um, or I have no time. And this week and um, last week and the week coming, I have no time. So this is where my hair is. I just prepped and cleansed with my Mish cleansed <laughs> shampoo so I use that and then I just like slathered a little bit of my almond marshmallow mask to detangle after shampooing because I shampooed pretty quick and I did, <clears throat> did cause some tangles so I wanted to go ahead and start working on those but as soon as I put it in I rinsed it right back out so it really hasn't done anything to my hair except for gave me enough slip to detangle but yeah so I've been working a lot this week it's been wild <laughs> and I mean it's cool my next paycheck is gonna be decent but I, like, I don't make enough money to get excited about getting paid, truthfully. Like, I really don't. And I wanted to update you guys on my Eco Wash and Go. So, I did my hair Wednesday morning. And I washed it out today. Today, it was in a half up, half down. Because the, like, perimeter of my head got really wet yesterday. So... I just put in a half up, half down, but if it hadn't been for that, like I could have stretched the style until Monday. Obviously I wasn't because I was going to film this, but I could have. Ooh, this is thick. So She Sent It is kind of known for having super duper light products, but this is very thick. Um, feels emollient. Kind of, kind of like the moisture cream. But I feel like the moisture cream feels more whipped. Even though this does have a like a whipped texture to it, um, the moisture cream feels even more whipped than this. But I feel like um, all the moisture creams I've tried from them to an extent feel very whipped. 
um they are very moisturizing but super duper light in consistency they have different levels of emollients and thickness but they're all very light and how they're very whipped so this feels really good I'm hoping that I like this because I did not like the rinse out conditioner I know that that rinse out is a lot of people's favorites but it was not a favorite of mine so But yeah, so I've just been making it through the week. Um, it was interesting today because I got a notification from Curl Kit that they reposted one of my videos, which was kind of weird to me. Um, I don't know. I guess like more people are seeing me than I thought, like than I realized, which is cool. Um, but you know, I've told y'all that I've had some gripes with Curl Kit. <laughs> so it was a little awkward. I was like, oh, they reposted my stuff. Um, which honestly, like, I feel like at this point, Curl Kit, like their Instagram page doesn't even seem like an Instagram page for their business. Like it, it seems like a regular natural hair page. Like they just post other videos of people using products that they don't put in their boxes um so I feel like that can be a little misleading um no don't get me wrong I don't I don't hate curl kit I mean I don't hate anybody um hating anyone or anything is a lot of work and I don't really have a job so <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a lot of work, but I've had my gripes with them in the past. I think a lot of people have had gripes with them in the past. So I feel like I've never talked about this. I keep, I don't know. I can never keep my head on when I'm doing these sometimes because I just sit down and I go like, I don't plan anything out the way I do my, <clears throat> my other videos. The only thing I plan is what deep conditioner I'm going to use, but I don't plan what I'm going to talk about. Because I want it, you know, I don't want anything to be, like, inorganic. Like, I want whatever I'm saying to, like, come from a place of just transparency and, you know, you know, real-time stuff. But, um, so I haven't talked about Curl Kit. And this is the thing. Back in the day, I say back in the day like it was such a long time ago. But... Curlbox wasn't always the only hair subscription that was worth subscribing to. So Curlbox is the same, I mean Curl Kit is the same um, concept. So you get so many products, um, it's $25 a month, $20 um, plus $5 shipping, so $25. Um, now I think the thing that initially really set Curlbox apart as the company started to grow was that curl box started really doing only full size um and curl kit does full size and sample size products now i think all of us know to an extent that like if you really want to know whether you're going to like a product or not you kind of need to use it more than once and um while you can probably do your hair um, with what they give you, depending on how long your hair is, um, you're not really going to know whether that product is a good product or not. Um, and so I know that was turning some people off. I really got interested in them when they started doing Shea Moisture Takeover. So they were doing takeover boxes and basically a takeover boxes where it's, the entire box is one brand. So this brand basically is all about this box. We see it a lot um, in curl box as well. Um, so they're doing Shea Moisture Takeovers and I was having some FOMO, you know? I was having some serious FOMO about um, missing out on those boxes because at the time I was still a pretty new natural. And um, I was figuring out what worked for me. And the only thing I knew that I really liked was Shea Moisture. Um, it's so funny. I've come such a long way. I'm so happy I'm not on that wave anymore. Um, 
So after the Shea Moisture Takeover box, I was like, well, these takeover boxes seem really cool. So I was like, the next time um, they get ready to launch a takeover box, I'll go ahead and subscribe. So they did a Miss Jessie's Takeover box. That was my first introduction to the company. And that was such a horrible box. Now, I also watched Mel Shree, and um, for the longest time, she was getting curl boxes sent to her um, for review purposes. So she would review the boxes. And I was happy that I wasn't the only person feeling some type of way about the box because like, okay, now we all know Miss Jessie's is, ex is expensive. We know this, but um, there was only one full size item in the box where every takeover, you would usually get at least three full size items, three full size items, and then maybe like some pillow packs or some trial size stuff. So there was one full size item and everything else was sample size. I think it was like two ounce sample sizes. And it was none of their new stuff. Like it was none of the interesting stuff. Like I think they put like quick curls in there. I think they put the super sweet back treatment in there. Um, They did the pudding, the purple one. They put two of them in there. They put that one and they put the unscented one, which I thought was like a waste of space. Like. You really only need like, you know, like, I don't know, but it, it was all samples. Like it was just one full size product and samples and the full size product that they put in the box wasn't even that good. Like I, I had pulled it out for a twist out. Um, it was like their silkening pudding or something like that. I don't know. Also check how good this is looking. Very emollient. Definitely. I'm feeling I'm feeling it for real like I'm feeling it this actually is a little bit thicker than the royal honey and argan just for like um comparison and feel it's a little bit thicker than that but um yeah so I was really disappointed but I was like you know I'll stick with it see if maybe they have some better boxes because up until that point I had seen really great boxes from them like I feel like every time I get interested in a subscription. I see them doing these awesome boxes and then I finally subscribe and I get garbage. So, you know, yay me. So, um, the next box was, goodness, what was it? I can't even remember. Like the boxes were so like not memorable. Um, but I think the box after that, the only thing I remember about that box was that there was a hair product from Kardashian Beauty that failed um, beauty line that the Kardashians had a few years ago. Yeah, they had a, a curling gel from that. It was like a cream gel. Um, and the only reason I tried it was because it was made by the same um, um, people that make chi. And I know that I like their products. So I, I gave it a shot. It wasn't my favorite. I ended up giving to one of my giving it to one of my Caucasian friends. She loved it. Um, but yeah, just the more I got boxes, the worse that they were. So I got three boxes in total. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to unsubscribe. So I sent an email. I was like, hi, I'd like to unsubscribe. Um, and they took forever to answer that email so long that I ended up getting locked into another box and they wouldn't give me my money back. So I basically had to like remove my card from the system and I told them like, you need to unsubscribe me. Like I don't want this box anymore. I had a really hard time getting unsubscribed from Curl Kit. Um, and it was really frustrating because obviously I was in college at the time. I was a sophomore so at that time I wasn't really working because that was when like my situation with my endo had gotten really really heavy so I was relying on my parents and alternate sources of income so I didn't have a lot of money to spend on my products so when I when I purchased a product or anything related to my hair it really 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 was a luxury for me um, and I was like I hoarded stuff 
because I didn't want to go through anything too quickly because I was I was never really sure if I'd have the money for it, you know, because I hated having to call my parents for money. So eventually they finally got me like taken off the thing. And to this day, I still get emails from Curl Kit asking me to resubscribe. And that was over three years ago. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like four years ago. So, you know, that's whatever. My situation with them was whatever. Eventually, like I got the whole situation taken care of. I managed to get my money back and I got out of the subscription. That really made me not want to try subscription surfaces. Like at that point, because Curlbox obviously was a thing and people were telling me to try Curlbox. But at that point, like it was so hard getting my money back and getting my card information out of their system that I didn't want to do another subscription. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to figure this out on my own because they weren't, you know, it just they weren't even sending good products. So, you know, I parted ways with Curl Kit and that was whatever. I still follow them on Instagram because you know how sometimes like when you have a bad experience um, and that kind of way, you try to kind of keep up with things just to see if maybe they do something that, you know, maybe they get better, maybe they'll do better. And so I was following them on Instagram and I was following, um, obviously still watching Mel Cherie. I was still following Mel Cherie at the time and she is very like blunt and honest. I, I love her. Um, and as the subscription services started to get worse and worse, she was very vocal about that. And there have been a couple of times where she had some boxes where I was like, hmm, I don't know, maybe they're going to get better. And then the next box would come out and it was garbage. And my thing was like, how much cream of nature can you send to people? Like all they ever send is cream of nature. Like, I've never seen a subscription box send so much damn cream of nature, ever. Like, if you if you like cream of nature, then just subscribe to Curl Kit, because that's all you're going to get, you know? Like, like it, it got to the point where it was, like, it was so funny because I was reading the comments from Curlbox at one point, and someone was like, yeah, I'll just um, stick with Curl Kit because I don't have any issues with subscribing and stuff like that, and somebody was like, yeah, you don't have any issues with subscribing because don't nobody want that shit. <laughs> and I was like, where's the lie? Like, nobody wants that stuff. And especially like if you, if you are not a new natural, you just, you know, like you're a product junkie and you use subscriptions as a way to kind of introduce you to things that maybe you can't find in the store or wouldn't necessarily gravitate to in the store, then that curl kit can do nothing for you because they send you the same shit over and over again um i think the thing that really killed me about curl kit was that the more i started reading their comments and i noticed that they've taken down a lot of ads where these comments were people were like okay but i'm not getting the same things that these people that you have in these commercials you know like i'm not getting those things or they weren't getting full boxes and then it got to the point where there were a lot of people like me who couldn't get out of their system. Like Curlbox kept taking their money, kept sending them boxes that they didn't want. They keep sending them emails telling them like, hey, I want to unsubscribe. And they continue to take their money. And that's my thing. I have a huge problem with that. I feel like if that's how you're going to do your system, then you need to be on it. If somebody doesn't want you sending them boxes, and taking their money then you need to make sure that you're not taking their money and you're not sending them boxes like period period like I don't I don't play about people's money you know and a lot of people do subscription services like that because um they may not have the money to spend to just go out and look at different products and $25 a month may be all that they can really contribute to that and so for them doing a, a curl kit or a curl box situation is a lot easier. Um, I get that. And so if you're trying to get out of it, like if you're going through something or you just don't like the products that they're sending, then, you know, you have to, you got to get out of the subscription and they need to let you out of your subscription. 
you know like it's I think that is just the most ridiculous thing to me but it killed me because you know the box just continued to decline like they never got better and Melchery was very honest in just saying that like um she felt like as she continued to get boxes like they just they weren't good um that curl kit wasn't really bringing in anything to the table um and eventually they stopped sending her stuff instead of saying um what do you think that we can do to make this better they just took her off the list and listen i understand if the person doesn't like your product then what's the point in continuing to send it to them but there was no attempt at growing um and at the end of the day you sent her the product to review you keep sending her the product to review and she continues to review it and you don't listen to a thing that's being said and so if there aren't any changes made and I mean, like, even with the takeover boxes, it's essentially, like, at this point, if you're going to get a takeover, it's going to be cream of nature. Like, it just is what it is. Like, it's, it's going to be a cream of nature takeover. Um, and I think part of it is that, in a lot of ways, Curlbox kind of became a monopoly and really took up all of the space with these brands. But the thing is, there are so many small black owned businesses that I think would love to work with a company like that. And in a lot of ways, I feel like Curl Kit really ruined their image by the way that they handled things and they did their business. Um, obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of everything, but it, it doesn't seem like it's doing better. Like they're, they're existing and they're still going, but um, I think that at some point, um, I don't foresee that Curl Kit is going to be a thing because they keep saying like they're going to um, revive themselves and it's going to be a whole new Curl Kit, but it really isn't. It's not. And the reviews that you see from people tell you exactly what folks are getting and they're not happy. So I guess it's you know, not really tea, it's just like, that's just my experience, you know, like, it, it was not good, it was bad, I had to fight to get my money back, um, and it's not a business that I would ever suggest to anybody, like, nobody, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell Ellie to go and get a curl kit, <laughs> you know, it just, it's, it was not a good experience, um, I am the type of person that I, I want to see people win, but when it gets to the point where like you're messing with other people's funds, that's where I draw the line. It's where I, at some, at some point, I kind of got to put a kibosh on the support because like people work hard for their money, you know, like you don't, you don't get to take anything from people. I don't care if they got the product or not. They didn't. They didn't ask for the product. They continued to ask you to get rid of their card information, to stop charging their card, and you still do it. So I know a lot of people have said that they've had to report them to the, to the Better Business Bureau. And I mean, if that's what you have to do, then that's what you have to do. Like, it, it just is what it is. I don't care if it's black owned or not. Y'all already know, like I, I hardcore stand black owned companies, but always within reason always within reason and if you are out doing some shady stuff i don't care if you're black owned or not i'm gonna call it call it what it is i've reached a point where I low-key want to do a chop. I feel like y'all might fight me though. I don't even really need a chop. Just like this last, like, from here to here. Kind of like this. I'm sitting there like y'all can actually see those ends in the camera. Like from here to here, like a good like two inches. 
I do want to get my hair shaped up too. Like I want to get a nice shape put in it. I think I might see if my aunt will cut my hair. Just to like get rid of some of these raggedy ends because they're raggedy, but I want to like really enhance that heart shape that my hair has kind of taken on. I really want to just enhance that and make it fuller. Because I feel like sometimes like when you have fine hair, even if you have a um, a product that helps with fullness, I think sometimes it's just all in the cut and my layers have grown out so wild. I don't think, I, I know my hair is not even all the way around. <laughs> so it's definitely time to get it cut, but I definitely want to get like a different, really just get everything shaped up just to complement that length because I think that I'll be happy with having my long hair um, if it has a shape that I enjoy. I care way more, more about the shape of my hair than I do the length of my hair. Because if your hair is really taking on like a really nice shape, the length really doesn't matter to me. But I've been all sorts of different lengths, so it's a different um, perspective for me. Like I've, I've been there, I've done that, so I'm not like drooling over my length. My hair going to shrink regardless, so. <laughs> Y'all see how this twist is just. And then like this side is really like soaking in the product. That's a good sign. I love she sent it deep conditioners. They're just, they're so good. Oh, and I found the, um, the My All Organics Moisture Max line. A lot of y'all were telling me that, um, they had, the sale was back up, that they had restocked. But, um, I decided not to because truthfully, like, if I don't like the products, I'm taking them back. So, I found them at Target. And if I don't like them, I can take them back. But, um... Also, once I did the math, it was cheaper for me to buy them in Target than it was for me to buy them on the website. It's actually interesting to me because all of them are on sale for $7. Um, and I think everything in Target is $9.99 with the exception of the gel, which is $6.99. So, I thought that was weird, like odd pricing. Um... I don't know if that was a mistake. I Like, I have no clue. But it was cheaper for me to buy it in Target. And I've been to two different Targets and seen it at two different Targets and on the website. And it's the gel $6.99 in all three places. So, um, I mean the Target website, not Miles' website. So, when I kind of, I added everything up, um, what it would be to get the gel, the leave-in, and the deep conditioner and it was cheaper to get it in the store because I wouldn't have had to pay shipping so it just made more sense like why not so that was what I did so then I didn't have to pay any shipping and that worked out phenomenal phenomenally so um that's going to be this week's video is the Mayel Moisture RX we gonna talk about that because low key like <laughs> we already talked about the whole copycat thing it's like i don't know like now that i know that it's my own i just feel so i don't know i just feel like they can do better than taking people's ideas but when i was um when i first saw the packaging and like the title and everything i was like it looks like they just cheated off of a bunch of different people so they like wouldn't get caught by the teacher you know like you know how like if you cut you think you can copy like multiple people's homework and the teacher won't notice that's what it felt like to me but whatever um I have it and I'm gonna review it y'all already know there's tons of products from my own that I love 
and that can't like it won't change the fact that there are products from them that I love and I swear by. It just feels a little tacky, you know, just a little tacky. But unfortunately, like there are some people in this world that are not even remotely creative and they get by and they're super duper successful without being even remotely creative. <laughs> so it just is what it is. So I dug pretty decently into the jar. I'm definitely going to get um, about five more uses out of it. But it's really like, um, it's really emollient in the hands definitely a thick deep conditioner this is really thick for um she sent it honestly the only thing that i feel really compares in terms of the thickness of what i tried is the royal honey in argan so that's it really just it's like a notch up in terms of thickness um this one definitely feels like you know how I said with the moisture creams, the Royal Honey Moisture Cream and the Avocado Moisture Cream, um, that difference between like that touchable moisture and that moisture that you can more so visualize, that like hydration, like if you're talking like semantics with hydration and moisture, um, it's kind of the same thing with the, with the Royal Honey, I feel just that going into my hair because you have so much of that avocado oil in there and then you do also have avocado butter in here and the castor seed oil like I feel like it's more so of that touchable moisture so we'll see how my curls look when I'm done with this um it says leave on for 15 minutes or up to one hour and then rinse so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk around with this. I'm gonna go start thawing some stuff out because I'm gonna go make some French toast for dinner. Um, I went shopping yesterday and I was like, I want breakfast for dinner. So I'm making the family some French toast with some blueberry syrup and eggs and bacon. So I'm gonna go cook my booty off and maybe sit under the deep conditioning cap for like 15 minutes. And I'll, I'll be back to tell you guys what I thought of this mask. All right guys, I'm back and these are my results. My hair feels so good. I was totally right. Um, definitely more of that like touchable moisture. So if you prefer like that touchable moisture feel, then I would go for this one. Even though I do feel like the Royal Honey and Argan does still have touchable moisture. That one is heavier. The avocado is definitely heavier than the, um, royal honey and argan and it kind of i don't know my curls just look so healthy and they feel so healthy it definitely sank into my hair um i didn't get to leave it as long so i didn't get to work on some of my pieces like that right there i would have liked to see a little bit more um you know not as stringy but that's cool this side um, definitely got a chance to soak up more of the product than this side did. And you can kind of see the difference, like, so. But these pieces were looking a little funky anyway, so I think some of that is definitely that it's just time for a trim. Like, there's only so much that I can do with that. Um, these are my looser pieces, and sometimes they don't get juicy, so but they feel good like they don't feel um rough or anything like that so this is definitely a yay in my book i can't remember how much i paid for this um i'll put the price in the description box but i really like this um once i saw avocado oil and avocado butter i was just like i gotta get that because um the double moisture overnight mask from curl origin has avocado butter in it and that has been one of my favorites so this is definitely a yay I love the ingredients um I, I enjoy the scent as well it's very light very pleasing um I just I love everything about it and I totally prefer this over the rinse out conditioner so double moisture overnight mask is bomb it's really really nice definitely sitting up there with my royal honey and argan it's funny I feel like I'm always in between the Royal Honey and the Avocado. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I really enjoy both of them, but it always feels like 
they're kind of battling each other. I don't know what it is, but I really like that one. So if you have been thinking about trying that one from She Sent It, that's a good one to try. I think at this point, like, with the mask that I have tried, um, the Papaya Super Hydrate has been completely knocked off my radar. Um, I prefer the Marula Mallow for hydration. And then, then in terms of moisture, I love the Avocado. I love the Royal Honey and Argan. And then for something that's going to give a little bit of strength, I really like my pomegranate pear. So those are kind of like my top ones. Um, and then I was also going to ask you guys, have you guys tried this? I saw this at my Target. It's the Do One Love Co-Wash. I'm thinking about doing a review on it. Let me know if you are interested in like co-wash reviews. Um, it was super intriguing because of just how it looks. And it smells like bubble gum. And this is formulated by a stylist. I was really excited to try it until I got it home and I looked at the ingredients and I saw silicones. So I kind of want to do a review on it and let you guys know how I feel about it. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. But yeah, um, I'll be back at you Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on what my job does to me. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching and keeping with me, even though I've been struggling this week. <laughs> I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.